Inside the hundreds of tents outside UK's Memorial Coliseum are generations of Cats fans camping out to earn tickets for Big Blue Madness. Yeah, we are the oldest people here. We are all of the whole way. Oh, yeah. The Riles have been coming here from northern Kentucky since Big Blue Madness began. So too have the Ebars, who actually live in rival territory. It's a four hour drive from Johnson City, Tennessee here, and I've been doing that for most every year since 1982. UK senior Whitney O'Banion, who grew up coming to Madness, says this year is extra special. What's your favorite colors, baby? Blue and white. Everybody's just kind of curious what the new coach is going to be like, and we want to make him feel welcome, so we're just trying to do the best we can by being out here early. This is the largest crowd this early in the year that I've ever seen. Uh, usually Friday evenings it gets pretty crowded, but this is by far the most interesting. And expectations around here are also pretty high. If we get some outside shooting, uh, we're going to be hard to beat come February. Yeah, early in the year it's going to be ugly because a new coach, new system, all the new players, but you know, we've got so much talent. Well, I'm planning to go all the way. <laughs> I think we're going to have a really good team. I don't think there's any, there's any stopping what we can do. So we'll see what happens. These fans will get a good first look at the cats because of their patience, but it's a mission that doesn't come without sacrifice. It's really hard with classes. I've been working on schoolwork all day. I've been here when there was frost on their sleeping bags and been in the rain and the beautiful weather. I tell people at home, you know, we're coming down here and they say, you're going to camp out? I say, yeah. They go fishing and camp out, so, so we go basketballing and camp out. It's just been my passion. I, I wouldn't want to be any place else besides right here, right now. But the camping isn't without its rewards. This is the only chance you maybe get to see the players and meet them personally, and then we get their autographs. This is at Coach Calipari's. You can take it home and put it in your family room. It's, it's nice to have mementos. But for these fans, it's not just about the autographs or tickets. We enjoy it, and we've met so many different people. Every year you meet someone different, you know. And it's, it's fun. Everybody's a Wildcat fan, and they're all crazy about the cats. I've been a big blue fan my whole life, and uh, this has just been a family tradition, I guess you could say. C-A-T-S, cats, cats, cats! People who aren't from Kentucky don't understand the passion we have for basketball, and that's myself. I have a, I'm a basketball freak, fanatic, or whatever you want to call it. It's in my blood. My blood's blue. It's in our blood because we're from Kentucky. <laughs> And that's just something to brag about. Go Big Blue. Go Big Blue, and I look forward to seeing them in the Final Four this year. <laughs> you ready? Go Whoa, Cats. cats. <laughs> Go Big Blue. <laughs> From the University of Kentucky, I'm Amy Jones.